insane hardcore pawn buys you have to see. Before we start, I'd like you to hit that red subscriber button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Film Title. The pawn shop business has been very good to the family of the Golds, the stars of True TV's reality TV show Hardcore Pawn. In fact, business has been so good that the American jewelry and loan owner Les Gold is considering expanding his operation to new locations and suburbs. The pawn shop currently has two locations, 20450 Greenfield in Detroit and M59 at Telegraph in Pontiac. Based on Les Gold's experience in the pawn loan business, he estimates that Detroit's local economy has improved at least 4% from a year ago. Here are some of the most insane hardcore pawn buys in the show's history. Number 1. Dangerous Cash Les again introduces viewers to his pawn shop, explaining what goes on there, saying that we don't call the experts, we are the experts. An irate customer tries to redeem her pawn of her earrings without a slip. She later returns to threaten violence, leading Les to blame his security crew for even allowing it to happen. A customer sells a stripper dance pole, but Les is skeptical that it would be sold. A man tries to sell a homemade cannon, but Seth trumps Les on the decision. Another man tried to sell a boat, but it was a bit of a fixer-up. A woman sells a horse and pony, but it doesn't include a board for the horse. Number 2. More Money, More Problems Les sends a few employees to work at the new location. However, Seth is concerned that the main store will be short-staffed. Soon, Seth is proven right when customers complain of the long wait. This leads to an argument between Les and Seth on the state of the business. Also, a man tries to pawn a watch that Les determines was not valuable. However, Les challenged him to sell it to anybody in the store. That is, until the man decides to shout profanities instead. A man sells a latex vacuum bed sex toy due to the fact that his girlfriend found that he had ordered it and told him to get rid of it. Les and Bobby J ask another customer to demo the toy and then proposes an ultimatum to the buyer, the sex toy, or his girlfriend. A man tries to sell a stainless steel bracket only to get abused by his girlfriend when he learns that the store was not buying them. A man sells an old telephone switchboard that he thought was owned by Alexander Graham Bell due to them seeing Bell's system on a plate affixed to the front, but manages to get an offer from Les. Number 3. The Shocker Les complains that the internet department is not generating enough sales. To rectify this, Seth decides to have all items sold both online and at the pawn shop. However, they experience a problem when a man buys a watch online, but that same watch was just sold several minutes earlier by an in-pawn shop customer and was not removed from the website within enough time. Seth places the blame on Ashley, but she has a solution to the problem. Use barcodes. Also, a man tries to sell a brand new space heater, but it looks anything but new. A woman tries to redeem her pawn of her golf clubs, but when she learns that she'd actually sold them instead of pawning them, she has some choice words for not only the thugs on the staff, but also for Les and his Jewish faith. A man tries to sell a Halloween prop of a man being electrocuted in an electric chair, but not only the technology for props have advanced, they also have become cheaper. A man and woman fight over a jacket, as both claim they'd saw it first, leading Ashley to decide who should get it. No one. A shy little girl sells her rocking carousel horse, but realizes that she needs to learn about the actual value of an item first. Number 4. Gold at Gunpoint Les takes Seth and Ashley to a pawn shop his grandfather started, where he and his family were involved in a robbery years ago. This visit led Seth to giving his father a 60th birthday present, a replica neon sign of that pawn shop. A trans dominatrix sells her bondage gear at the pawn shop. A disabled person tries to pawn an accordion but ends up pawning his artificial leg. A disgruntled customer tries to return blown speakers. Also, fake designer handbags and pregnant mannequins. Number 5. Face Off the relationship between Seth and Les remains very frosty, with both sides refusing to speak to each other, to a point where Ashley tries to play peacemaker. Nevertheless, neither side is willing to yield, leading Ashley to lure them together and force them to make up. But when both sides still refuse to forgive and forget, Les decides to let Seth operate the store his way, without Les to lean on. Also, a drunk man tries to sell Les a gold sports ring for funds to pay for his DUI conviction, but refuses to leave after learning that it was actually brass. A man sells a seat from the old Yankee Stadium, which he won at a charity auction. A woman tries to pawn her diamond necklace for funds to fix the windows in her car, which were broken into, but cops an attitude after learning from Ashley that it was a fake. An elderly couple, hoping to get money for their son's wedding, failed to strike a deal with Les to sell their digital camera, but did have enough money to buy a gold necklace for $1,000. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are currently on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, we'll see you in the next video.